Can you spell anything? She's going to spell something for us. Gilbert? How do you spell Gilbert? <laughs> G-I-L? Say G-I-L. And what about you, Gilbert? Hmm? You gonna be in the first? Oh, another year, and then you're gonna be in the second. Ruthie, tell us, tell me what. <laughs> Procedures have been simplified greatly in the past uh, two or three years and we are able to provide a lot more financial help than we could in the past. Any ideas to the numbers of children that are being adopted? No, Mrs. White might be able to give us a little better uh, figure on that. Uh, right now, we are placing approximately 250 or 275 black children per year, but this does not nearly begin to meet the need. How many could you place if the adoptive homes were there? the number I think would be endless because if we could place all that we have now, there are many children with the Department of Public Social Services that could be referred to us and we could find homes for them and that would represent a number of children. We, we continue to look for and, and make an effort to identify children who can be made available for adoption throughout our caseload. We've set up special units to, hound, to do nothing but hound these children and work connect, in connection with the Adoption Bureau. How serious is the shortage of adoptive homes? The, the uh, shortage of adoptive homes is most serious in the older children's uh, age group and older black children especially. And we are very much in need of families uh, to adopt these children. Now, who are the children here today? We have four children who are typical of the children who are available, bright, sparkling children who have no real problems other than the fact that they're older and black. You've been very successful in this uh, organization in a very short time. What are some of the uh, successes you've had so far? Well, we feel that we have, for the first time, been able to spearhead a community-wide uh, concern for our black children. And we have uh, gotten not only community people interested, but many of the r media, radio and TV, have responded. And we think things are going very well. Have the procedures been simplified at all? Yeah, see. Now, Howard, if we can get...